Hello, Game Boys and Game Girls. I'm the Game Boy Guru, and welcome to something a little different. Uh, I guess you could call this a channel update slash apology video. Um, it's been a while since I've uploaded anything, uh, and some of that's been because I've been incredibly busy, both personally and professionally, but also because I've kind of reached a point where my audio setup, the way that I like it, um, I have an audio interface that I have, and then I've got an XLR mic that plugs into that, and it's on a stand, and I've been kind of going back and forth with that between my setup here in the game room and then my setup in the living room that I use to stream. Uh, that's a big pain. Uh, <laughs> it's, it's, a, it's a real hassle to do that every time I want to move back and forth, and since I've been prioritizing streaming because it's a lot easier to come home after work and, you know, fix a meal and, you know, do anything around the apartment that I need to and then just jump right into a stream without too much preparation. It's a lot easier to do that than it is to do any kind of uh, big YouTube type of production, whether it's a scripted video, like a dramatic readings video or even just a pickups video. Uh, add to that the fact that... <clears throat> The last month's pickup video that I was attempting to do, which uh, was supposed to compile two months worth of stuff, I recorded. And then after 45 minutes of recording, when I turned it off and played back the video and realized that I had forgotten to press the little button on the audio interface that provides phantom power to the microphone, and I had done 45 minutes with no audio, that kind of took the wind out of my sails. So I decided it was time to look at how I want to approach this going forward. Um, could I use my phone, my new phone for that? Probably, but it's not going to be the production quality that I want. So here's what I'm going to be doing going forward. <clears throat> um, for a couple more weeks or so, I'm going to have to do the back and forth thing between the audio interface and mic here and with the streams um, because I don't have any other options available to me other than um, using the lousy webcam mic that's on my webcam now and trying not to turn the volume on my TV up too much while I'm streaming. So what I'm looking to do going forward is to get a wireless headset for the streaming rig. It is not going to be Bluetooth because I know that there's a little bit of lag with Bluetooth and that has its own issues. And I already have more Bluetooth devices in the house than I need. Uh, I don't need them fighting each other. So instead, what I'm doing is I'm buying one that has its own 2.4 gigahertz um, proprietary wireless dongle, USB dongle. That's going to plug into the desktop that's in the living room for the streaming setup so that I will have a headset mic that I can wear and hopefully have good enough quality for what I want to do for streaming. Um, that will enable me to leave this setup in here so that A, I don't ever have to move it, but then B, it's a lot more accessible. Um, so instead of having to come home from work and spend 20 minutes dragging all this stuff in here, and setting it up and then making sure that I hit the button <laughs> to enable the, uh, the microphone, um, it's just ready to go all the time. Uh, this is the setup that I use for podcasting. You know, I've got these wired headphones that have this 12 foot cord or whatever it is that, that I use. And they're not fantastic, but they're perfect for what I need for podcasting and for video editing and so, you know, I've got my microphone right here and I've got my audio interface here on the on the tray with my laptop. And that's the way I want it. I want to be able to leave this set up pretty static as much as possible. So that's my goal. Uh, and so I'm going to be ordering something online and hopefully getting that within the next, I'll say, month. Because I know shipping is going to be crazy with, uh, you know, everybody buying Christmas gifts online and things like that. Uh, particularly this year, since there's probably going to be a lot more of that going on than people in store. So that's phase one. Phase two is uh, 
or, you know, the second reason, I guess, or the, you know, the other big thing, as I mentioned before, I've just been busy personally and professionally, um, you know, and I haven't even been streaming for a few days because frankly, I needed a break. Um, I've had a lot going on with my job and more work than normal. And so I kind of needed to be able to come home and just sort of decompress, um, or on nights where I work late, uh, you know, I, I've just not really had much ability to do any kind of streams or frankly, to come in here at nine thirty, ten 10 o'clock, um, after I'm done with things and try to sit down and, and do a video with any kind of enthusiasm. And so I don't want to come across as, uh, as just rote and robotic as I'm doing these things. You know, I enjoy gaming. I enjoy collecting. Obviously, you know, this is a fun hobby for me and the YouTube channel and the streaming are extensions of that. I'm not making any money off YouTube. My channel is tiny. It's not monetized. You know, I'm an affiliate on Twitch, uh, but I haven't seen a dime from that yet. I probably never will um, because what I stream is a little bit more niche. And frankly, I just don't have that big of an audience. So for me, this is just a way for me to connect with other people who are into the hobby because, I mean... I live in a, I live in a small town and there's not really much of a gaming audience here outside of, you know, the usual, uh, the usual stuff. Um, and certainly for some of the retro and more niche stuff that I'm into, there just isn't, you know, there aren't people here for me to connect to in that way. Uh, so, you know, I have to get my, my sort of gamer social interactions going elsewhere whether that's driving to other towns and, and game hunting and interacting with people there or doing it online. So this is one way for me to do that. And what I'm, what I'm trying to do is just find a way to, I guess, expand the hobby out a little bit more because I can go buy games and put them on the shelf and I can go plug games in and play them and, and that's fun, and I like that. But now that I've been doing YouTube for a number of years, and I've been doing streaming now for almost two years, uh, you know, I'm, I'm kind of got to the point where I enjoy this being more social. You know, I'm an introvert naturally, but there's still that instinct and that need to connect with other people on some level. So for me engaging with other people specific to my hobbies is a way to do that. Um, and it's great to be able to do it online because I don't have to, you know, I don't have to get out of my apartment and drive 60 minutes or 90 minutes or a couple of hours or whatever to go to some place where there's a ton of people that I can talk to about these things. You know, I can do it over the internet. Uh, and so this is, this is just a great avenue for me to do that. Um, it's just, as I said, I've been busy with life stuff, so to speak, and haven't really had as much opportunity to make videos or to do them in a way that I feel is up to my own personal standard. Um, you know, certainly I don't have the production quality of a big channel. Um, I don't have a graphics person. You know, it's all just simple fonts and stuff that I'm doing for, um, for, you know, thumbnails and things like that. I'm not worried about becoming a big channel at this point. That ship has sailed. You know, I thought maybe that was a thing five, six years ago that I would be able to accomplish, but no, obviously not. So anyway, all I'm, I guess all I'm trying to say is, uh, I'm sorry that I haven't been communicative. That's one of my own, uh, problems, you know, personally, but, um, but I really want to continue to do uh, videos on the YouTube channel and, you know, pickups videos and announcements and things. I want to get back to doing Game Boy reviews. Uh, some of that's just going to be a, a matter of time management, but that's going to be easier for me once I have a dedicated wireless headset set up in, in the living room for streaming. And I have this set up here with the, audio interface and the dedicated wired microphone for 
doing YouTube videos and the podcast and everything, it's going to be a whole lot easier because I'll literally be able to just come right in, fire up the webcam, and just record. Um, so anyway, hopefully 2021 um, will be less of a dumpster fire that, uh, than 2020 has been, um, it just in a number of ways. Uh, but also I'm hoping that 2021 can be a better year for me in terms of my YouTube channel and actually getting some, some good content and good output on there. Uh, that's what I was hoping 2020 would be, but it didn't turn out that way. Um, but that's just the way it goes sometimes. So here's hoping for a better year next year. I know the year's not done. You know, there's still, as I record this, almost a month and a half left. Um, you know, maybe if my schedule clears up a little bit, I can pick up a bit more. I'm planning on doing a couple of more videos here in pretty short order that I'll be able to release over the coming days um, so that there's at least something going on on the channel. But um, anyway, I just wanted to let you guys know I haven't fallen off the face of the earth. I'm still here. I still plan on, on keeping this YouTube channel alive. Uh, I did finally hit 300 subscribers. And of course, it happened uh, while the YouTube channel has been dormant. Uh, so <laughs> thank you to those um, intrepid souls who decided to subscribe while things were uh, a little dark around here. But uh, yeah, I really want to get back to doing some content and making videos and just interacting with folks and and uh, hopefully having some good conversation about about gaming and collecting and all of this stuff. So anyway, that's all I wanted to say. Just to say I'm still here. I'm still alive. The channel is still going. Um, it's not dead. It's just um, kind of on uh, on. Um, what's the word I'm looking for? Cruise control at the moment. And once I can get over the, the next hill, then hopefully we'll be smooth sailing back down and uh, into the road ahead. So anyway, thank you all for watching. Thanks for playing and game on.